Introducing the African Diaspora News Channel app, your gateway to stories that's overlooked by the corporate mainstream media. And we serve as the voice to the true power black community. Here we got Dr. Candace Matthews. A lot of these documents, you know, looking at. We are committed to informing and educating through the power of media. This country is supposed to be about the land of the free for all. It has not been free for black people and we are tired. With our platform, we're helping to end injustice by exposing it. Join us in standing for excellence in journalism and serving our community. Download the African Diaspora News app today. My name is Malini Mfulwe and it is my absolute pleasure to welcome you to the latest edition of the African Diaspora News Channel where we unravel the stories that shape our world and our communities. Now, today's story is a deeply important story that actually speaks to the struggles faced by the LGBTQI individuals in um, Africa and the journey of hope that actually leads them to new beginnings. Now, the story in particular is about uh, Cabral Ngonoy, who is a young man from Cameroon whose life was actually shattered by the very society he sought to belong to. Now, at just 19 years old, Cabral's life took a horror turn after um, his relationship with his boyfriend was actually discovered. Now, facing violence from um, neighbors and rejection from his own family, he actually embarked on a, on a four-year journey across multiple countries. Now, his experience included being sold into slavery in, in Libya, being harassed in Tunisia, and desperately actually seeking safety in Europe. Now, all of these experiences actually reveals the grave realities many LGBTQI individuals face in regions where their existence is actually criminalized. Now, I believe it's, it's quite heart-wrenching to hear this, especially knowing the fear and isolation that prompted his departure. I mean, his story is a mirror reflecting the struggles faced by countless others who find themselves in similar situations. I mean, in a world where love can actually lead to violence and rejection, I believe we must ask ourselves, what can be done to create safe environments for all individuals regardless of their sexual orientation? And indeed, right, the urgency to amplify these voices cannot be overstated. I mean, as Cabral made his way to the United States, he's actually found hope through the Welcome Corps, which is a program designed to actually connect refugees with American sponsors who provide support as they navigate their new lives. I left home when I was 14 years old. Here we go. My goal, my goal was to leave my home and go somewhere. Just for half peace and... So when I arrived in San Francisco, I was not knowing what was waiting for me. So when I arrived, all my sponsors group were there. With, they <laughs> hit the sign written, Welcome Cabra. <laughs> Now, with almost 100,000 individuals stepping forward to help, this initiative actually embodies the compassion that so many people actually yearn for. I mean, under President um, um, Biden, efforts to rebuild refugee programs have brought new light and opportunity to those seeking safety. Cabral's successful resettlement and, 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 and the support he actually received from his sponsors, including a lesbian couple, actually shows the profound impact of community and acceptance. Now, this moment of discovery is not just about personal freedom. I believe it's about reclaiming one's identity in a world uh, that often seeks to suppress it. Now, Cabral now fortunately works in a coffee shop and studies to become a social worker one day channeling his experiences into helping others navigate similar paths now he dreams of a day when his boyfriend whom he met during this journey can actually join him in this newfound freedom now this reflection resonates with many across africa where anti-lgbtqi laws actually persist which forces individuals into hiding. I mean, more than 60 countries have actually ignited laws criminalizing homosexuality with horrific consequences. I mean, for instance, the situation in Uganda where the death penalty for aggravated homosexuality was actually upheld. 
actually shows us the severe risk faced by LGBTQI people. Now, as we reflect on Cabral's journey, I believe it's, it, becomes a clear, it becomes clear that the advocacy and support for the LGBTQI rights must extend beyond borders. How can we as a society stand in solidarity with those who actually face persecution simply for being who they are? Now, Gabriel's story is a powerful reminder of the resilience of, of human spirit and the importance of community. Now, that's it from me. We want to hear from you. What are your thoughts? Let's engage in the comment section, shall we? And while you're at it, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. That's it from me. Till we meet again, it is goodbye for now.